Okay, chapter six. The road to death is paved with this house. Beginning of this chapter, it used the example of several child, Hollywood child stars, and how they made a lot of money when they were much younger, probably before and at their teens, and they've lost it all. And kind of talking about their spending habits, so the less and less money they had, I'm sure they would be looking for more and more discounted items. As their bank accounts dwindled, they probably saved a lot of money by buying their toys cheaper, but no matter how deep the discounts, when people overconsume, it's only a matter of time before they go, before the out of go overtakes the income. Author also talks about winning the lottery, gets an example of Paul Scott Cooney, who won the lottery when he was 26. He won $20 million in the state of Florida. Huh, funny, I'm in the state of Florida. Ten years later, Cooney appeared in bankruptcy court, negotiating a plan to pay off $5 million in debt. Now I bet Cooney negotiated some really good discounts during these ten years of free spending when people buy furniture by the semi-trunk load. Motorcycles three at a time, you better believe they get some great discounts. Overspending is the rule, not the exception. Frankly, it's the other way around. As a rule, North Americans are consuming themselves into the poorhouse. Let's drop some facts. More than 2 million people filed for bankruptcy in the U.S. in 2007, and the number has been increasing every year for a decade. The average American household owes more than... Pause for a little bit. Never mind, keep going. The average American household owes more than 12,000 in credit card debt as a rate between 12% at a rate between 12% and 29% in credit card debt goes up about 1,000 a year. Americans worked the longest hours in the industrial world in 2007 Americans worked 8 hours per week than they did in 1987 according to US Today survey 54% of Americans say it would take three months or less to fall behind in bill payments if they lost their job today. Americans, Americans, household debt is nearly 25% of assets, the highest percentage in history and growing. If Social Security disappeared, half of all senior citizens starting tomorrow would be forced to live in poverty. It's never too late to make a U-turn. I think most people spend themselves into the poorhouse because they aren't aware of alternative ways of consuming, aka self-awareness, aka Willingness and open-mindedness, a.k.a. taking action. Oh, those are my thoughts right there. Um, let's add them to this. Uh, this last bit. The road to debt may be paved with discounts, but people don't People don't have to stay on that road. They, have, they can choose to turn around and head the other direction towards financial freedom. The choice is to remain, remain a consumer or to change direction and become a prosumer is yours and yours Good night. Have a nice night. You guys take care. Thank you. And last bit, choose wisely. You will never regret it. End of chapter six. Go into chapter seven.